When I got hired, nobody talked about playing in March. <laughs> wow. It never came up. We always figured April 3rd or 4th would be the earliest we'd play. So it's about a week earlier yeah. than, we, than we've ever thought. There's 40 miles of heat tubes in here, and uh, it's off during the winter. We want full dormancy, but come March, we slowly bring it up. So we're in the low 50s for a soil temperature right now. We want to get into the low 60s to get this growing. That, and if we can get some sunlight the last half of March, temperatures of at least 40, then, then we're good to go. It is almost midnight here at the Target Field and they are rolling out the first rolls of turf. We were here when they were putting in and we've seen what's underneath here. People would just be amazed by understanding it's really like a layered cake, right? It is, 18 inches of fill sand, four inches of pea gravel, heating pipes on top of that, and then 10 inches of a sand peat mix and grass on top of that. Do the other groundskeepers from around the country give you a call and say, now how are you gonna do it, Larry? I mean, they're well, all- they, they think I have it easy because we have heat. They think, oh, you got the heating like the system, old piece of cake, don't, right? Huh? You know, but uh, only a few of us do. So, really, uh, some of the other guys, you know, we talk about Cleveland or Chicago. They they have their own their own battles. You recycle everything, water-wise. What you spray here on the field is that recycled also? It is. All the hard surfaces are the, the primary source of, of the okay. of the water recycling. When the when the building's clean, the valves open. When the building's dirty, the, the valve shut, so we don't get the the peanut and nacho cheese water. Right. We don't want that. It was an easy winter for a while. <laughs> it was, <laughs> right? Until February. It wasn't bad. Until the polar <laughs> vortex right, and right. then the snowmageddon. The vortex and snowmageddon. <laughs> there you go. By the way, Target Field has two meteorologists that help Larry with all the crucial details about the forecast. Mace Michaels and Todd Nelson, who just so happens to be helping us out tonight.